What's the deal, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Honey. Coming to you with a really quick video. Um, this is Wusa Wednesday. You know what we do every Wednesday. Black Ink Crew. Um, this is Black Ink Crew New York Season 5, Episode 11. Buenos dias, Puerto Rico. Okay, this episode wasn't really a whole, whole lot. So this should be super duper brief um before we get started go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below um thank you so much to everyone who continues to subscribe week after week mwah, 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 mwah. i really appreciate you guys thank you so much for the thumbs up and i love all the comments i get below for all my videos so keep the comments coming please okay so let's get into this <clears throat> first of all we see the whole crew from 113th and Kit from 125th um, arriving in Puerto Rico. Sky is in full sky form. Her volume is on 10. Just for GP, she's whipping out the titties at the airport. You know, the usual. We see them riding to this beautiful home that Seas has, um, you know, rent it for them it's a beautiful home everybody runs in gets a room for whatever reason uh sky doesn't get her room she immediately off the rips even though she has just said that she's going to put aside all of her um beef with teddy for this trip for the good of caesar and the good of 113th when she realizes she's going to be in the bunk bed room she goes to get into the back into the cab and she's going to get a hotel Corsese stops her and brings her back and then he brings everybody together for a come to Jesus meeting because he wants everybody to know where they stand what's going on now first of all we're gonna have to all try to work together and stop popping off number two let me just tell y'all how this whole ranking system go there's me there's Teddy then there's Sky I think there's Walt then he says and um you know <laughs> i think he said bay he didn't he didn't put richard in it uh, at all but um he says it's it sees teddy sky walt and we don't know where richard is all the new people and then donna and i was happy to hear that because donna need to know her place like she <clears throat> is the worst tattoo artist and by far to me she's it is um the less the least helpful person there useful person at black ink so yeah shut up and enjoy the rise guy i mean um donna anyway um so we also see that Duchess is in North Carolina and she's at a shooting range with her mom and her dad. And she's shooting a pretty big gun, actually. And, you know, she's like all body shots and woo 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 And then she tells her parents she is a little upset because she forgot that two months prior she had committed to do this photo shoot for a magazine cover and um, Facebook Live um, posting for this company down there she doesn't want to go because she knows Caesar's gonna be there and um she doesn't want to get into it with him she doesn't want this thing with him so she preferred not to go at all and her parents tell her what we all know girl grow up you're gonna see people you don't like everywhere y'all work in the same industry you better go get this money okay don't let it stop your business you're supposed to be a professional move forward i just don't know i just don't I'm, i don't want to get into it i um i'm a little confused as to how she knows sees is going to be there considering sees didn't know himself um until just a little while ago so and then later on they say they haven't talked in a couple of months in a month and a half so okay but i'm not gonna pick at it so um then we see uh the convention is a couple of days away we're back at the puerto rico house and they are partying up a storm doorbell rings it's it's tattoo baby um she's a beautiful girl of course she wants to know where she's sleeping um sky wants to know where she's sleeping and sees is like well i mean you could sleep in my room with me 
And she's like, okay, it's an awkward moment. You could just tell that it wasn't something that was discussed prior. And through this whole trip, it really kind of looks like um, she is not quite sure uh, if she want to be involved with this whole thing anyway. So um, they go ahead and, you know, start the party or whatever and she goes puts on a beautiful bathing suit one of two beautiful bathing suits i see her with on this episode and of course donna goes into donna mode which is trying her best to um be as inappropriate as possible she is an aggressive bisexual i will not call her aggressive lesbian because it really just gives lesbians a bad name but i will call an aggressive bisexual and she starts hunching and humping on on um tattoo baby and to the point where seeds is like look back up pull up holds up um and eventually she ends up going into the pool which is where she belongs i think every opportunity they get to um to force donna to in her lane and just keep her as as um you know remind it as possible what her position is there they should do it um melody back in new york she's not coming for a couple of more days because she can't find a nanny and she's getting into it with lala her baby's daddy because um uh, he does basically doesn't want to marry her they're throwing a three-month birthday party for their son kai um uh, which obviously only the three of them showed up to and this conversation starts about her wanting to get married you know just want more of a commitment from him especially since she's already made some seriously committed moves like oh i don't know having a baby and he basically gets upset and just tells her we don't need a piece of paper i'm not gonna marry you i'm not gonna marry you i'm not marrying you she gets upset and she leaves um so the next morning in puerto rico uh, Teddy gets an I looks on IG and he sees on Duchess's IG that she's coming to Puerto Rico. So of course, right there in front of everybody, he lets Teddy um, sees know what's up. And Donna and Sky both go into this conversation about Duchess and what he gonna do when he see her and all of that. And of course, Tattoo Baby is like, can y'all fill me in on what's going on? Now, do I think she care about Duchess and C's relationship? No. I think this is all for stunts and giggles. But I do think she care about if she gonna have to, um, you know what I'm saying, put a razor blade inside her bun and and be ready to get to it with this with this chick she need to know a little bit more about the situation in that sense anyway she's just pissed off with sky and donna because they keep um bringing up a subject that he doesn't want to talk about in front of tattoo baby um later on tattoo baby goes out and gets into the pool sees joins her in the pool and he just apologizes for the situation where how she found out about duchess and she just tells him because she's a cool chick, which is why he really, really likes her. And probably why he's so easy, breezy, giggly around her because um, she's not, she doesn't act like his mom, right? So, um, then we see um, her tell him, hey, check it. We here in Puerto Rico. Let's just try to have a good time. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. We ain't going to worry about all that. And he loves that about her um we see duchess and her sister arriving in puerto rico and you know the minute duchess gets into the taxi cab she goes into dragon seas you know how he never really looked out for her he never really lifted her up he got jealous because she got her own shop that's what made him get one two fifth and he never wanted her to be great and she manufactures these tears i just don't understand why he couldn't support me like i support him and i'm like dutch come on we wasn't wouldn't even know who you were if it wasn't for black ink 113 come on let's just be honest let's just keep it 100 dutch quit trying to play the victim and quit trying to drag caesar and his reputation like you so much better than him like really dutch that to me is the worst part of your personality is that you can't give anybody credit you have to take all credit you have to act like you are the smartest and the biggest and the baddest at all times and that is why you have lost your man but in my opinion caesar's really better off in the game 
And when she does stuff like this, it just proves it. Okay, you guys, let's go back to New York. Um, Melody comes in. Lala's already there. She's been gone a minute. She's getting ready to get ready to go to New York. So she, I mean, uh, to Puerto Rico. So she must have stayed out for a couple of days. And basically, she dry. She dry, and she don't have much to say to him. And he's had a couple of days to think about how stupid his reaction was. And he wants to apologize. And she just tells him, listen, I just want to make sure you... I want some type of commitment from you. And I just want to make sure you're as committed to me and our family in this unit as I am. And he says, is that what you want? And she says, yes. And that's all I've ever wanted. And he says, well, I booked a, a flight to Puerto Rico and I'm going to Puerto Rico with you. And we're going to do a commitment ceremony there. And she seems like she's happy and she's okay with that. So... All right, piece of man better than no man at all, Melody, I guess. Um, first day of convention, um, the crew is heading out to get on the transport to the convention center. At the same time, uh, Richard and Nikki are coming in. They have enough time to put their bags down, then head back out to the convention center. Um, so he's not sure if he's going to be able to tattoo there to make money while he tattoo there because he don't know how big the booth going to be. But he got his stuff just in case they're going to all find out. So they get there, get to the convention center. It's a beautiful convention center. Puerto Rico's beautiful, point blank, period. Um, <clears throat> they go inside and, of course, Sky leads the way. She's like a, you know... The leader of the band, you know, she is como esta, como esta, como esta black ink crew, como esta black ink crew, como esta black ink crew. All the way through the whole convention center, they get to the registration table and sees like black ink crew, we here, we ready to go, let's do this. And they were like, um, you don't have a booth. He was like, no booth. They were like, no booth. He was like, uh-uh-uh, something's got to be wrong. Let me talk to a manager. Whole time, Teddy sitting there, standing there with his shades on, looking around, playing stupid. Now, at this moment, he's speaking no English. Okay, so he talks to the guy and says, hey, what's going on? What do you mean we did all the paperwork? They say, yeah, but you, there were steps to this thing. You're supposed to send a portfolio. You're supposed to send pictures. You're supposed to pay a fee. None of that was done, Caesar says. None of that was done. Are you sure? We're positive, dude. So um, this is a serious thing. They don't have no extra booths. Y'all just down there wilding out with video camera I mean, with, with a TV crew, basically. So he says, excuse me a moment, let me talk to my cousin. Pull them all to the side. And of course, Sky is right there. She is 110% ready to say, I told you so. I told you this ninja Teddy went by his business. All right. This is the problem that they have at 113th, okay? So, he asked Teddy about it. Teddy was like, I did everything I was supposed to do. I guess the person who was supposed to send in everything else didn't do their part. They were like, well, who was the person? And he takes his paws and, like, loose around, like, let me see who can I pick. Um, Kit. And Kit was like, uh-uh, baby, no. This was your idea. I ain't even know nothing about this. What are you talking about? And so, finally, he just admits he fucked up. He didn't do everything he was supposed to do. He didn't follow through. And um, it's all his fault. Seas is embarrassed in front of his peers. And he's embarrassed in front of Tattoo Babe. Baby. He takes Tattoo Baby and they walk off. Now, Seas goes with Tattoo Baby. And they sit and they talk. And he expresses himself about how he feels about the whole thing. How embarrassing it is. How this is why why his shop isn't running very well this is why he having trouble with 113 and she just tells him off the rip i i'm not used to this like i'm i don't you know what i'm saying i don't handle my business like this so this is kind of weird for me and um later on we see that uh the crew was not able to figure things out like um caesar told them to and get them into the um get them a booth get them a place to set up inside the um tattoo convention which 
they weren't able to do it initially, so I'm not really sure why Caesar thought that they would be able to rectify it once they got there. As a group, they just walking around the city of Puerto Rico, um, fussing and cussing each other out, in, up and down, in and out of alleyways, looking for a tattoo parlor that's going to let them, you know, take the money from their shop, take the money from their tattoo artists, and let them tattoo in their shop to make money well first of all the only people that can tattoo is Bay, um richard and donna okay so the rest of them all they do is keep the sofa warm at 113 so that's a big mess that's a debacle um and as tattoo baby and caesar walking around puerto rico they happened upon um, Duchess and Cease gets nervous right away he gets very very nervous and he's nervous like you come home and you realize your mama been home all that time <laughs> your mama home early for work I mean he gets nervous like a little boy I honestly believe Duchess has scolded him so much and sunned him so much that he, when he see her he get nervous his palms get sweaty and uh, Tattoo Baby can see this and so she immediately tells him why don't you just talk to her and see if you can get some closure to this situation so he goes in the middle of her Facebook live cast she's done now with her um, photo shoot which her photo shoot was beautiful and he just walks up to her with Tattoo Baby now she he says hey Duchess she speaks to Tattoo Baby hey Tattoo Baby you know real real pleasant like and he said well can I talk to you and she was like no I'm working and she pays him dust. So he walks off to the side. And of course he has a moment to think about it. He is starts to get upset about it. He starts to get. He's embarrassed. So he starts to talk to Tattoo Baby about how she left. How she did things. The computer. The ring. The Dear John letter. All of that stuff. He tells her. This is how she acts. This is how he. She tries to control him. It, um, she, she, you know, won't talk to him. She won't give him an opportunity to talk about, talk with her about what's going on. And it's real childish. Um, and so he decides he's going to stand there until she get done doing what she going to, what she doing with Facebook Live. And then she going to talk to him. Um, you know, that's his thought process. So, uh, she gets done. He walks up to her and tries to talk to her. And she's like, no, I'm not talking to you. You bring another chick here to talk with me? No. You you got your other chick here? And you decide you're going to talk to me with your other chick here? Well, first of all, you can see by how far down the pier Tattoo Baby is that she is not checking for you, Duchess. She is not checking for your mess. But what I don't understand is if you love your man, you're going to want to talk to him. You're going to want to hear him out and see what's going on. This just proves to me that you really don't want to be with C's. What you want to do is make yourself look bigger and better and better by making C's look like he ain't shit. And that's what makes you uncool, Dutch. That's what makes you um, disliked by a whole lot of people. So, that's really how the episode ends. Like I said, it wasn't a whole, whole lot. It wasn't much. Um, but next week should be a little bit better. I'm, I'm not feeling Duchess. I'm not feeling Duchess' attitude. And I've seen some reviews where people have kind of felt like C's was in the wrong. But I'm sorry. I don't see it. You guys let me know what you think about Duchess's attitude. What do you think about C's wanting to talk to her at that moment with Tattoo Baby being in the vicinity? Uh, what do you guys think about everything that's going on with the um, tattoo convention? Um, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Let me know what you thought of this review. Give me a cool slick thumbs up i would love it thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel if you are not currently subscribed to miss honey please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below i promise you will not regret it until next time honeybees i'll holla <laughs>